Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Sunday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early, 4 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, today I want to talk about a few different things. Mainly, I want to talk about Fox News and Russian State TV, a few stories from there. Uh, Trump supporters. And I, you know what? I want to talk about a Charlie Daniels song, too. I almost sound like uh, Boy of the Fifth Column there. Uh, let's talk about a, let's talk about a Charlie Daniels song. Uh, I wish. Anyway, okay. Uh, I was debating what to talk about this morning, and I was looking at the different news stories. And I was looking at a few different news stories. I'll put the links down below. And people, uh, these Trump supporters from all over the country, all over Florida, mainly to uh, traveling to Mar a Lago. These caravans, still, you know, seventy-two hours later, they're still all, or is it more than that now, piling up. Uh, headed to Mar Largo, save our president. It's a travesty. It's it's a uh, it's a banana republic. Uh, all this other stuff. And I started thinking about this. I, I started thinking about their blind loyalty to this guy. I, I you know nobody nobody really knows a hundred percent sure. You know it sounds bad. It sounds very bad. The stuff that he took home. Oh, and by the way, his latest excuse is, uh, "Hey, everybody takes you know everybody takes work work stuff home. You know we all you know we all do the work at home thing. You know so they're comparing uh, you know top secret top secret documents locked in safe in, in a safe in a uh, you know the, the highest levels of top security. They're co comparing that to uh, I don't know emails to uh, your boss or whatever. Anyway." I see these caravans of Trump supporters heading there. And I, st I started asking myself this. Is there anybody on this earth that I would give blind loyalty to that, like that too? You know, the people that I admire most. Like lately, I've had a lot of, uh, I, I admire Beto, Beto O'Rourke, uh, John Fetterman. Um, I've always admired Barack Obama. Um, I don't know, just to, just to name a few. And I, I asked myself this question. If a story came out, yeah, a terrible story about any one of those people. Would I just throw my blind loyalty behind one of those people and say, no way, you know, he would never do this. You know, uh, there's no way. You know, would, I, would I drive hundreds of miles to their house or to, you know, wherever? No, man, no. I, I always ask myself, I want to know the truth. You know, and I, I we're, we're, we're all sinners, right? We, we all make mistakes. And, you know, if I heard a story like this, I'd want to, you, you guys, anybody that's been watching my channel for long enough knows uh, you know, I'll call myself on anything. Uh, you know, we all make mistakes. And if I heard anything about the people I admire most, I'd want my first instinct would be to de defend them. But I would not defend them blindly. I'd, I'd, first thing, I'd want to know the truth. I'd want to know the facts. You know, and uh, I certainly wouldn't hop in my car and uh, with flags all out the back. <laughs> you know, and, and uh, Photoshop pictures of, like I said, like, uh, you know, of Fetterman's head on, uh, I, I don't know, the rock's body or, well, he, does, he doesn't really, he fed, John Fetterman really doesn't need his, his head photoshopped on anybody's body. He's got a pretty, he's a, got a pretty, he's a pretty big guy himself. All right. But anyway, that's what I was thinking about this morning. This, this cult-like atmosphere. Then I saw a story about Fox News. Okay. I don't know a lot about their, you know, I don't watch Fox News. I, I'll see the stories pop up. And Brian Kilmeade, I believe his name is, he was filling in for Tucker Carlson. I think this was around, today's Sunday, this was around Thursday, I believe. Thursday or Friday. And uh, this is on Fox News. Now, this is this is the thing. Fox News is earning, well, has earned their, their, their uh, other name as Fox, Fox News, F-A-U-X. They, they have earned that. So, this Brian Kilmeade shows this it's a meme, call it whatever you want. It's a photo, it's a picture. It's, it's Photoshop, but nobody knows that at the time. So, Brian Kilmeade shows this picture of the judge that okayed this uh, search warrant. And he's, uh, the, the picture is originally him watching a football game. And, the, or a uh, Maybe it was a car race or something. And he's in his living room. And he's it's, it was rained out. And he's sitting there with a bag of Oreos or potato chips or something. And he's waiting for the, the rain delay to be over. That's the original picture. But somebody took it and photoshopped it. And made it look like he's sitting in a plane instead of in his living room. On top of that, it shows, it shows uh, Ghislaine Maxwell. I know I'm not good with names. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Uh, 
with all of her cleavage hanging out, massaging his his feet. And the you know the picture was originally Ghislaine Maxwell massaging I don't know, probably Epstein's feet. Who knows? I don't know. But Fox, you know, or, or it wasn't Fox News apparently. Somebody else, some other meme expert, did this this uh, photoshopping this uh, this change. Anyway, he shows this to all the Fox viewers. You know, millions of them, right? Doesn't say a word. Not till 24 hours later does he come out and say, well, that wasn't real. It was a goof. It was just a joke. He doesn't apologize or anything. It was just a joke. You know, that's all. Ah, don't take it so hard, right? It's, it's, yeah, <laughs> you know what comes to mind? It's not a male part. Don't take it so hard. Did you ever hear that? Anyway. And right off the bat, you know, I, I think most people know that it's more than that. That is an illusion, and it alludes to the whole Pizzagate thing. That's what this is. It's 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 a blatant. It, it's it's a company that claims they're they're showing their their viewers actual news. When this this was just total made up. Nonsense. But worse than that, it fed into this whole Pizzagate, Deep State, Hillary Clinton thing. I got to be careful what I say here. I can't say, you know, it involves uh, the underage segment of the population, the whole Pizzagate story. And that's what this is implying here, you know. And then you get these these total crazies that believe that they're saving uh, innocence in our society. And they go to this, F, you know, like the FBI office and stuff like that. It wasn't, it was way more than a joke. It was way more than a joke. It was feeding into this whole conspiracy theory thing that left-wing Democrats are secretly some kind of cabal, uh, cannibalistic. Again, I have to watch uh, uh, feeding off the innocence. Uh, that's that's what it's saying. You know, that's it's it's no joke. It's it's feeding into this whole conspiracy theory, and I'm sure that the Trump supporters and the other. Uh, QAnon nuts out there knew exactly what it was. It was saying. I'm sure a lot of them uh, screenshotted it and saved it. Oh, here's proof. Look, it's the deep state coming after Donald Trump. You know, and then they get this whole, you know, this whole uh, righteous savior theory that Donald Trump is saving uh, the innocence of the world. And this is a news company. This is a freaking news company doing this. Unbelievable. I'll put the story down below. All right, the other one I want to talk about briefly is uh, Fox, uh, Russian news agency, talking about their, they call it R. Donald. They're, and they're serious. They sound 100% serious about this. So they, they're talking about, well, geez, maybe Russian security could take Donald in and bring him to the United States, or bring him to Russia to save him from, from this persecution in, uh, in America. And they, I think they talked about actually bringing Americans, if some Americans want to come to Russia. To save them from the, the persecution of being Trump supporters. And then this is what came to mind. Did you ever hear, like, uh, you know how Americans are divided? And did you ever hear, like, well, geez, if, if aliens, you know, from a different planet ever showed up, we'd all, you know, suddenly if there was a, a threat from the outside, we'd all join, you know, Americans would all join together and come together. And that reminded me of that, that Charlie Daniels song, uh, Outsiders, Best Leave Us Alone. Uh, I think it's called In America or something like that. I'll put the link to that down below, too. You know, and there was a day when that was true, that we'd squabble amongst ourselves. And, uh, you know, but that was just uh, it, between ourselves. But that's not true anymore. Uh, divide and conquer. That's what's going on here. Um, you know, Russia, I, I, they sound 100% serious about this. And we're so divided at this point that they can easily, you know, other entities like Russia or whoever wishes to destroy the United States can easily slip in here and uh, take advantage of our deepening division. Those days of us coming together are, are seem to be long past. Like I said, I'll have all the links down below. You guys have a great Sunday.